so in this le- in this lesson uh which i think is part seven are we going to make to be making these towels here and uh i'll try to use to see i don't want to sculpt anything in this tutorial because uh, it's not a sculpting tutorial or lesson or series uh let me try using the cloth simulator and uh yeah see how that goes so i'll just do this on the side here and how should we do this we can start by using a plane shift a plane rotate this 90 degrees and uh basically make uh, the curve sorry the shape we want here so this uh yeah, i don't know how to call that but uh, basically let's just do that goes around like that Actually, we can make it look a bit more realistic because uh, these towels are never folded like this. So it can go like this and then bend like this. And then something like that. So we need to give them some uh, spacing here. So let's uh, do that. Uh, like that and now we can select everything extrude in that direction and turn on a small shading and uh, then we can give it a solidify modifier let's apply a scale and rotation first increase the thick thickness uh, make sure that uh, you have nothing that is intersecting uh, so let's recalculate uh, the numbers select this Uh, before we do that, let me see. If you are going to use uh, the cloth, the cloth uh, simulator, you might need uh, some good resolution here to work with. So I'm just trying to see what we can get away with. And, uh, what we may not be able to get away with. So let's, let's see if we can use a close simulator for this. I haven't tried this out, so I'm just experimenting. And uh, since I'm experimenting, I'll save a copy of this. So this is going to be our ground. Uh, so I'll go to the physics tab and uh, give this a collision. And then this a cloth. So if we play back, and see it is just falling directly uh, but uh, what we want and that because because our cloth our simulator is after the solidify modifier modifier uh, that is also adding it added into the calculations so we need more wrinkles yes so we can add a few details there and uh, we can also turn on self collision so under the cloth, under co collisions uh, in the cloth modifier or cloth uh, settings, uh, we can turn on self collision. You can see now we have something like that. And uh, we need more wrinkles here. So for that, we'll add a multi resolution modifier and uh, subdivide this a few times. And then maybe we can put this below the subdivision before okay it doesn't go there hmm. so let's see let's see let's see Trying to see how the wrinkles would look if we have any wrinkles. Uh, the other thing I can do here, I maybe apply uh, the solidify modifier 
and then remove the gravity turn off gravity for this cloth simulation so under uh, the field weights you can turn off the gravity for a second then maybe let me also reset the origin to center and uh, then add a force field let me give it around 50 strength and uh, let's see how this looks let me reduce uh, the subdivisions for the multi resolution maybe just re-add it again subdivide once okay, so it simply unfolds which is a nice trick. Yeah, it simply unfolds. But, uh, let's move this force up here and see if that does anything else. Okay, not much. So I just want those wrinkles in. So. Um, the other thing we can do here is, uh, let me first clear this simulation out, select uh, these uh, loops here, go to vertex uh, to uh, vertex groups and uh, add a new vertex group and assign uh, this vertex group uh, so that we don't have this falling down on itself. So now if we, if we go to the cloth uh, simulator under the shape we can turn on penny and uh, select uh, the group uh, we have created and, uh, now it shouldn't fall on itself uh, we need a way to simulate uh, these wrinkles uh, let's try uh, this here let me see if we add a plane a rotated x on the x then maybe add another one uh, this side uh, hit play we can try moving this around it doesn't seem to be working uh, because uh, these vertices are pinned uh, what we can do is uh, maybe add some key some shape key so go to uh, to this setting here and then add a shape key then add another one and for this second one we can turn on proportional editing and uh, move uh, these vertices in a bit maybe give them a small rotation uh, usually rotations are not good when you're adding uh, uh, when you're doing shape keys but uh, for this it's a small rotation so now let's do that that as well and uh you can see if we increase the value here you can see what we're getting very small but uh i think it can help us give us more wrinkles so let's uh add a keyframe let's first turn off uh, this here then add a keyframe set a keyframe for the shape keys so right there and at around 100 we can set another keyframe just to make this uh, faster let's first turn off uh, that uh, because we're still experimenting and uh, let's end uh, the time frame to 100 and play around and see so you can see our keyframe playing back the rotation is good everything is good if we add the cloth simulator uh, you can see that uh, we are starting to get we have started getting some wrinkles in there and i think if we added if we push this if we go to keyframes and uh, push this a bit in further we can get a few extra wrinkles uh, so i just need uh, let's see if we play back and see we are getting a few wrinkles we just need more resolution uh, to get even better wrinkles so 
another thing we can do is uh, if we go to weight uh, object, uh, sorry, weight paint, you can see uh, the parts uh, that are pinned. So we can uh, reduce uh, the weight for some of these parts uh, so that uh, they are also included in the cloth simulation. Uh, that will give us also more uh, wrinkles. Uh, mostly at the sides here maybe reduce some there now we can also make some parts here more stiff yeah basically you want to randomize uh, the wrinkles a bit so let's go back to object mode and uh, playback you can see we are starting to get a few folds now we just need to increase the resolution so turn on multi-resolution and uh, subdivide this a few times, maybe three. And uh, I'll start simulating and I'll see you in the next lesson after that.